Welcome back to the 100 days of the 2023 National Electrical Code Changes series. We're talking about Article 695, which is fire pumps. Today's topic is 695.6, power wiring. All right, the change here is cable and raceway fittings now have to be listed for wet locations. Now, I think a lot of people are already doing this, but it was not a requirement. So 695.6 D1, wiring methods, says that the wiring between the controller and the pump has to be in rigid metal conduit, intermediate metal conduit, EMT, or it can be in liquid type flexible metal conduit or liquid type flexible non-metallic conduit, mineral insulated cable, or MC cable that has an impervious coating. Uh, now, if you'll notice, all of those wiring methods are suitable for a wet location. The fire pump room is not, by definition, a wet location. Remember, a wet location is water saturation, okay? Is there going to be water in the fire pump room? Sure. Does that mean it's a wet location? No, no, it's not. But we kind of tell people, eh, you know what? Wire it like it is a wet location. So use wiring methods that are listed for a wet location, one of those. And new to this version of the code, fittings must also be listed for wet locations. So again, we're not reinventing the definition. We're not going to concede and say, hey, that's a wet location, because it's not. But we're going to tell you to wire it like it is. So you're going to use uh, compression fittings if you're using a steel raceway. You're going to use fittings that are listed for a wet location, like we have here in the picture at our flexible connections right there. Looks like liquid type flexible metal conduit. So make sure you're using fittings that are listed for a wet location. Uh, the other thing in this section, which didn't change, but I think is worth talking about, and that's connections at motor terminations. They have to be made with listed means and may not use twist on wire connectors, insulation piercing connectors, or solder. So you can't just use your standard twist on wire connectors. You've got to use some sort of, press of, uh, of, of pressure connector or similar. Uh, and you know a lot of people will use a device like this and that would be fine but we just we want to make sure that the fire pump is always up and running you know when it comes to the strange rule you know, I, I always kind of use article 695 as an example of what chapter 6 is chapters 1 through 4 that's your normal stuff chapter 5 that's your weird locations hospitals hazardous locations etc chapter 6 is your strange equipment well, 695 is maybe the strangest of the strange because that's where we get rules that say, hey, listen, we don't even care if the motor blows up. We want it to keep on running, so don't protect it against overcurrent, you know, unless it's six times the rating of the motor. We care about voltage drop. We care about a lot of things in 695 that we don't normally care about. And we care about how you make the connection to the motor. So we don't want just regular twist on wire connectors. We want to have, you know, proper, uh, pressure connectors to make that connection. So there you go, 695.6. The next video, we're going to talk about voltage drop. We'll see you then.